Hi, this is Nilton from craftofprogramming.com and in this video tutorial we are going to cover IntelliJ 2019.1 navigation. Navigation is obviously a very important uh, way of, um, for you to become productive. What we are going to cover here will be navigating from the editor to any tool window, navigating the class hierarchy up and down, as well as navigation using bookmarks and the um, recently used editors and the switchers. Before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to, and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Okay, so let's start with the uh, navigation. So, um, the first thing we're going to cover is how to go to a class. So it's control N and you put the type, um, for example, single chronicle Q. Notice that you don't have to type the full uh, type name. You can just use the camel case and just type the um, uh, first letter of, the, um, of each of the words and IntelliJ will automatically give you that. Um, so this is how you would open um, a type. For a file, you basically do a Control Shift N. And here, obviously, you can um, do the same thing. Just use a camel case, um, the first initials of the camel case. You get um, the Java files, but also you get the, uh, for example, um, you know, non non Java files for example, POM files, and obviously you can open them. But if you, if you do here, if you try to open a file here, then obviously it doesn't work. So another uh, navigation that it's very powerful is to navigate to a symbol, which is uh, Control Shift Alt N. And symbol basically is like a method name or a field. So for example, here I have dump, and as you can see, you know, IntelliJ show me all the methods that would name dump. Okay, so obviously you can then, you know, open it. Um, navigation here, you can go to the, you can basically navigate um, left or right on the open editors. And this is basically alt left or alt right, depending on the direction you want to go. Um, another thing you can do is um, basically do uh, control alt if you do control alt the arrow then you are uh, navigating to the uh, points in the location the code where you were before and this does not necessarily have to be uh, for a editor that is currently open for example let's go to some file here like say dump on single chronicle Q store which I'm cu I've currently visited and now if I close this editor and I want to go back to where I was, then notice that it opened the editor. Okay, so this is a nice way, Control alt um, left you know, cursor key left or right, it's a nice way for you to navigate to the, um, you know, in order to the points where, to the locations code where you were. Um, so obviously we have the um, alt tab, and this is the main switcher. So um, here you can uh, basically on the right side, you see the editors um, and they are sorted by the order that they've been accessed and you can see the uh, tool windows. So I obviously can go to a tool window like structure or, um, you know, uh, project. I mean, obviously this is not the most um, efficient way to navigate to a tool window. As you see, when you click control tab you see these numbers here and these numbers are basically the fa or letters a fast way for you to navigate to a tool window so you do alt for example one to go to project window or alt seven to go to structure or alt two for example to go to favorites so that's a nice way to navigate um, you know directly to a tool window um, so 
when you are in a tool window, for example, if I am in a project, and this is a consistent theme that IntelliJ uses, you can actually type in here and basically, you know, search for things. For example, if I start just typing POM XML, then it automatically shows it here. And again, this is a consistent theme that IntelliJ uses. For example, if I go to the structure and I just type something, then, you know, it's highlighting the um, uh, symbols that match my search. Um, so this is consistent across all the windows in IntelliJ, which is a pretty awesome thing. If you want to go back to the editor, you just and you are on a tool uh, window, you just press Escape, and you are on the editor. Um, one nice thing that I need to mention is when you are on a tool window, notice that the the, um, the tool window has the keyboard focus. So this is nice so that you can automatically start typing something, right? So you don't need to. You know, when the window is activated, you can just start typing in it. You don't have to click on the mouse to actually, you know, um, for you to start typing. So that's a nice feature of IntelliJ, which is this very focused, you know, keyboard-driven IDE. So if I am in the editor, one way to maximize it is Control Shift F12, and it's maximized. Um, and type Control Shift F12 again to um, go to the previous state where you see you know, whatever was open, in this case, the project window. Um, if you want to go back to the previous tool window, you basically um, type F12. So, for example, let's say I was in the favorites window here. And I go back to my editor and I'm doing something, blah, blah, blah. So I don't need to type, you know, Alt 2. I can just type F12 and IntelliJ takes me back to the tool window. So inside the editor here, uh, to navigate, basically, you uh, the code. So you basically go up the symbols by clicking Alt um, um, arrow, up arrow, or Alt down. And that's how you navigate and, you know, up and down. Um, if you do Control F12, you get the uh, a structure pop-up, and this is essentially what you see here in Alt 7. Um, but you know, it's a nice way to um, just get a quick, you know, pop-up. And again, here you can just start typing anything, and uh, IntelliJ automatically filters the symbols that match your search. So here, let's make a change to. Um, so let's make a change here. And let's go to some, you know, random place here. So if I want to go back to the last edit location, I basically just type um, Control Alt, uh, sorry, Control Shift Backspace. So moving on. So if I want to go to a declaration of a symbol like a method, I do Control B. And this o obviously also works for a field. And uh, one nice thing that you can do is you can just get a quick overview of or snippet of the method Control Shift I, and this way you don't actually have to go to the symbol to actually you know see some details of the implementation. And again, this also works for a symbol. So this, for example, there is a pool here which is a field of this class. If I do Control Shift I, then I know exactly what the type and the visibility of this field is. If I am on a interface, for example, let's pick uh, Chronicle Queue. This is an interface. And I want to see an implementation, so I do Control alt b And if this is the single um, implementation of that um, interface method, then it automatically jumps to the implementation to go back to the um, um, declaration, you do Control u And Control u basically go to the super. This works with interface um, implementation methods as well as um, when you override a method from a subclass. So let's go to the common store, for example, and let's pick something here. So in this particular case, because there is more than one implementation of this interface, then IntelliJ gives you an option. 
uh, and then you choose which implementation you want to go to so you go to this implementation for example so now if you want to see the um, hierarchy of a type you basically do control H and you can basically look at the subtypes of a particular type or supertype. So in this particular example, uh, with this view, you are seeing the subtypes of the wire store interface, which is a single chronicle queue store. And you can see the supertypes of wire store, which is common store. And then it actually, this interface then extends all these other interfaces. Control G is to go to a particular line, just type the, the line. So for methods, you can basically find the method um, um, hierarchy by typing control shift H. And notice that IntelliJ tells you, um, you know, give you some useful information here, whether the method is defined in the class or, or on a super class or whether it should be defined here uh, because the class is not marked as abstract. Um, so if you want to find the colors of this method then you do control alt h and you find all of the colors and um, one other thing is which is related to the switcher is the recent files so if you type control e intellij displays you the um, list of recent files that you visited w in order of modification uh, so for most recently modified to least recently modified um, and if you type control E um, you can just uh, filter to the files that you have actually changed if you now type control shift E and this is I think a new feature of IntelliJ 2019.1 it actually gives you the locations of code that you have recently changed and you can obviously go there for example, let's make a change um, to this dump method. I don't know, let's print something super useful here. Print current class and method name, for instance. And now let's go somewhere, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go to some implementation of this and let's do the same thing. Now if you type control shift control shift E, then you see uh, the that you know the changed locations are ap appear here and in the order that we have make the change. The top is the most recently changed to the least recently changed. So last but not least is the concept of bookmarks. Bookmarks allow you to quickly jump to a specific location in source code that you have previously set. Bookmarks have something called a mnemonic, which is just a fancy word that means, you know, a number or a letter that you assign to that location in code that allows you to quickly jump to it. So the way to set a bookmark with a mnemonic is a control shift number. So you do control shift one and notice that a number appears here and to tell you that you have set a bookmark with mnemonic one in this particular um, location in the code. So you can do it anywhere you want. There you go, I have a two. And you know, whatever you wanna do it, right? So um, now you can go back to any of these bookmarks by typing control bookmark ID or mnemonic. One, two, or three. If you want to see the bookmarks that are already set, then you type uh, control F11 and you see the um, bookmarks that are already set. So one, two, we toggle here at this location and here enables you to see, you know, to set another one. So you can change it and do this. If you want to see the bookmarks that are set, so you go to the favorites window and the favorite window shows breakpoints and bookmarks and if you expand the bookmarks you will see the bookmarks that you have set. Now notice that you don't necessarily have to have a mnemonic. So for example I can assign a bookmark 
without a mnemonic. Notice that I have this checkbox. I can assign obviously as you know as many as I want. And again, if I want to see what are the bookmarks that I've set, then I go to favorites and I can see the bookmarks that I've set. Obviously, you know, if you want to the bookmarks without a mnemonic. Uh, you know are not so easy to navigate to because you have to come to the bookmarks window and select them i mean this is not ideal um, you know the ones with the mnemonic are really the ones that you should aim to use because you can just type control you know uh, number and uh, you you know navigate to that point that concludes the navigation in intellij idea 2019.1 thanks for watching